The 1942 Talgo prototype, officially known as Talgo I, marked a revolutionary leap in railway engineering and design. Developed by Spanish engineer Alejandro Goicochea and financier José Luis Oriol, the Talgo I was the first product of their newly founded company, Patentes Talgo Sociedad Anonima. The name Talgo stands for Tren Articulado Ligero Goicochea Oriol, lightweight articulated train Goicochea Oriol, reflecting its innovative approach to train construction. The Talgo I introduced several groundbreaking features. Its articulated design used single axle wheels shared between carriages, reducing weight and rail wear while improving stability. The train's low center of gravity allowed for higher speeds without compromising safety, a critical advancement for high-speed rail. During testing in 1942, the Talgo I achieved speeds of up to 135 km per hour, a remarkable feat for its time. Its aerodynamic design, resembling a shark, further emphasized its focus on speed and efficiency. The first test run took place in October 1942 between Madrid and Guadalajara, Spain, where it reached 115 km per hour. By January 1944, the prototype had achieved its peak speed of 135 km per hour during trials between Madrid and Avila. However, the Talgo First journey was cut short in February 1944 when it was destroyed in a fire after accumulating approximately 3,000 kilometers of testing. The cause of the fire remains unclear, with some speculating sabotage by competitors. Despite its short operational life, the Talgo I laid the foundation for future generations of Talgo trains. Its lightweight construction, articulated design, and focus on high-speed efficiency influenced modern rail engineering. The success of the Talgo I paved the way for the Talgo II, which entered commercial service in 1950, and subsequent models like the Talgo Pendular and Talgo 350, which continue to operate globally. Today, Talgo remains a leader in high-speed rail technology, with its legacy rooted in the pioneering spirit of the 1942 Talgo prototype.